hello and welcome to you all once again in learn more youtube channel today again i'm here with a new topic as you can see in your screen generation of computers and your features okay let's get into the topic at first i'm gonna talk about generation of computer feature of first generation computer feature of second generation computer in the way third generation computer fourth generation computer and finally fifth generation computer firstly what is generation of computer the phase wise development of computers on the basis of speed electronic components performance and specific period is known as generation of computer this statement you can use as definition of generation of computer hope you understood about generation of computer phase wise development of computers on the basis of speed electronic components performance and specific period that is generation of computer let's move to the features of first generation computer first feature of first generation computer they use a vacuum tube as main component next they were huge in size it means the computer of first generation were very big in size their operating speed was up to millisecond it means their operating speed was quite slow and they use machine level language for programming they consume a lot of electric power hope you understood about features of first generation computer now moving to features of second generation computer transistors were used as main component their speed was up to microsecond it means they were quite faster than first generation computer they were smaller than first generation computer and these computer use assembly language for programming not machine level language now moving to third generation computer now what are the features of third generation computer let's get started they use electronic sorry they use integrated circuit as main component they were general purpose computers they were small effective efficient reliable then second generation computer they support a large number of high level languages their operating speed was up to nanosecond it means these third generation computer were, were quite faster than first generation computer and second generation computer now moving to the features of fourth generation computer fourth generation computer use microprocessor as main component their operating speed is measured in picosecond and even more also okay they were user friendly and support a numerous high level language and graphical user interface program means graphical user interface program means you can see different icons in this program different icons different images so it will be easy to understand in graphical user interface now next their size is reduced up to laptop and palm top computer it means as i already told that the computer of first generation computer were very huge in size they occupy a whole room but the computer of fourth generation are small in size like you can see laptop now currently we are using and palm top these all are features of fourth generation computer now moving to the features of fifth generation computer they will use ultra large scale integration as hardware technology first feature and they will possess artificial intelligence so that they will be able to understand even natural language it means a computer of fifth generation they can understand human level language or you can say natural language they will implement knowledge based problem solving technique finally they will use biochip as memory device hope you understood the concept of generation of computer and all the features of first generation computer second generation computer third generation computer or and finally fifth generation computer 
Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe the channel for more updates and more information.